I'm glad you all joined me today. Welcome to our daily devotions. I'm Pastor David Shub at Trinity Listening Church in West Bend. Today we begin with some thoughts from Paul in the 12th chapter of Romans, where he writes, Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, perseverance in prayer. One of the most interesting things I've observed as a pastor is going to see someone who's had a successful surgery, and yet they seem depressed and sad and disappointed at that particular... They say it still hurts. They still can't do what they want. They've been told that it will be sometimes months before a full recovery takes place. I think somewhere deep in our minds... We think, we, have, we think that we'll just have this surgery and then we'll jump up off the table and everything will be fine. Medicine's good, but not that good. It often takes time to heal. So Paul says, be patient in suffering. John Robert McFarlane writes in his book, Now That I Have Cancer, I Am Whole, about slowing down in the face of his battle with cancer. He writes, In this slow time, I am learning to be patient. I don't try to do several things at once. I concentrate. I do it well, as well as I can at least, and I do it slowly, whatever it is. That slow motion is a reminder to myself that getting well is a lifelong process, regardless of how long or short the life is. The living is in the process not just in the result. It's important to experience each moment, not just the end. Take writing this meditation, for example. Dorothy Parker used to say, I hate writing, but I love having written. I was like that. I rushed through everything I did so I could mark it off the list and go on to the next. I missed most of my life because we live mainly in the writing and not in the having written. So it's tempting to me to get this meditation done, to hurry on to the next one. After all, I have a lot to say, and I don't know how much time I have in which to say it. Isn't that reason enough to rush? While I'm doing it, couldn't I also pray for those who will read it and make a mental notation of where I have to be this afternoon while I'm writing and praying? Wouldn't that make the most of my limited time? Whoa there, slow down. No one really does three things at once. We ju just think we do. Actually, we switch from task to task with great speed and frequency. But the switching takes time, a nanosecond, regardless of how nimble we are at it. By doing but one thing at a time, concentrating on it, and then switching to the next, we actually save time as well as wear and tear on our mind-body. Having written is just a small fraction of life. I figure that even if cancer ends my days early, I'll actually get more living in than I would have without my pre-cancer approach because I'm experiencing the writing too. Now that I have cancer, I go slow. Healing takes time. Any healing takes time. Lord, grant me patience. And grant it now, I think, is our prayer of all of us. Let us pray. Lord, grant us the patience to let healing happen with the confidence that you're always at work making us whole. Amen. My prayer for all of you is that healing does come and that in the meantime, you know that God is at work in your life. Have a good day.